YouTube. I'm back once again with another vlog, 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 what is it? It's vlog, isn't it? Uh, write down in the comments if I've got that wrong. Um, today I've come with another gripe, so thank you for listening to what grinds my gears to quote Peter, Peter Gritton. And today's subject is smart motorways. Now, I regularly for work drive up in the Midlands, so I, I've driven on smart motorways um, which are in action and they're not very smart I've got to be honest I don't I personally don't don't see the benefit for it taking away an extra lane a lane of refuge now someone like myself has in fact had a flat tire and I've had a blowout on the motorway at 70 miles an hour and that is terrifying if you take away that refuge of the hard shoulder where the hell do you go? Because, I mean, it's, it's bad enough you're in harm's way as it is. I mean, when, when I had a blowout, um, I pulled over to the hard shoulder. And it's only when you kind of stop, you realise actually how fast 70 miles an hour from other cars is. I mean, when you're on that, that hard shoulder, that sort of slow lane, slow lane, still as lorries going past. If, 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 one, if a lorry clips you at 70 miles an hour, that is curtains. So, um... Yeah, it's it's a big big frustration that um, near to where I live, um, they're doing the same with the M27. Um, this started about two years ago, and I've barely seen any progress. Every day on my commute to work, it is literally gridlock because no one's really doing anything. I mean, you'd expect with the mass inconvenience, the entire South Hampshire area they kind of get a bit of a wiggle on but no I mean I drive down the motorway at all times of the day through my work but I just don't at max I've seen like three four people working and don't give me that oh they only do it at night why aren't they doing it in the day to sort of maximize the time why is the time not efficiently met so I mean I've been irritated by this so it's quite funny for me to kind of read the uh the highways agency website i mean here I've, I've got up here and it was like blah 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 highways england yada 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 da, 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 da. Uh, i don't care how much it costs and, and the end scheme is just this doesn't really tell you when it finishes i mean the progress report on this website now the thing that was cracks me up is is, is is corporateness on the website so it says we've been very busy working on this Notice the term very, very busy. Um, there hasn't been that many people I've seen working on it. I mean, what's really, really funny is if at the bottom of the page you go to the comments and you kind of have a look at what people are irritated about. And this one guy here says, every time we pass through the roadwork section, no one's actually working. Too few staff and too much wasted time. I couldn't agree more. Well, there's five upvotes for that, it doesn't mean they're right. But, I mean, we've got another one. Smart ways are uh, unsafe and shouldn't be using the M27. There's no issue as to how it used to be, just a money making scheme. That's what it really, really looks like. I mean, I'm not exactly a Praetorian for safety, but I just I, I can't get my head around how taking out a lane is a good idea. I, I, I don't see it myself. It's sort of like. It's really weird on this website, they seem to have provided a forum for you to kind of air your views and they couldn't care less. I mean, for me, that is... It's a bit like the situation with BT before, like, Virgin and the other providers came along. When BT literally had the monopoly, they could do what the hell they wanted. They could charge what they wanted, they could do what they wanted, and, they, you know, they could fix it whenever they felt like it. It's kind of the same with Highways England. They've got no competition, certainly how it seems. So they just take their time. You know, it's just, it's just very frustrating as a driver, now don't get me wrong, um, as a driver I probably fall into this category, there's a lot of jerks on the road, I mean one of the biggest pet peeves that I've got is people who just because they're indicating think they can just move into your lane, that is a, that is just an absolute flipping gripe of mine, that is sort of like, I mean, I mean I've got we got a bike that does it. We, we, we you know, we got we got cars that do it. I mean, you, I'm, I'm not singling out any particular brand of driver, <coughs> Audis, but it's just, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's trying to get somewhere. And yeah, all right. I mean, it's slow down to fifty. Frankly, 
no one does 50. I sit there overtaking at 50 and people are absolutely shooting past me. They put these yellow cameras up, but I'm not sure they're actually working. Occasionally you see one in the Daily Echo saying someone got caught. It's what, they turned it on for like five minutes a day. It's just, I mean, middle lane hogging is another real, real problem, which kind of happens. And you get lorries doing it in the 50 limit, in the roadworks, with the narrowness, and they're sat in the middle frigging lane. I mean, if that doesn't cry stupid, I don't know what is. It's just such a hazard, and it's just... It makes driving every day more of a hazard than it needs to. I mean, and going back to the earlier point, uh, which was aired, which was an annoyance, is there never seems to be anyone working. I mean, I mean I've got some footage here, which you see me driving along during the day, and it's sparse. I mean, yeah, by the time I come home at night, yeah, I mean... Band about when even with, all right, it gets dark about four o'clock because it's the winter, but you know, I can see the dangers of that. But they've got these really great floodlights on all the time, which obviously illuminates the whole area. But there's no one working, so the only thing you actually achieve is you blind everyone who drives past it, and it's just it's a bit senseless if you ask me. Um, I I, I don't understand the logic behind it. I mean, yes, it's a pretty congested motorway, but in order to make it smart, do you have to be f***ing stupid beforehand? Because that's kind of what it looks like, if you ask me. And I think it's absolutely crazy how much people just don't, you know, I mean, it's that was a really, really stupid decision. That was clearly a decision made by someone who doesn't live around here because, you know, every day in the rush hour, the gridlock is even worse. Now, I, I refuse to believe that this will solve the problem when it actually finally opens. I mean, it has, it's been about two years now and I've barely seen any progress for it. I mean, I'll be, I'll be very interested to see if, you know, someone ever did a time lapse for it. I remember on the Echo roundabout, I think it was Junction 3, they did a bridge and they did this whole time lapse going, oh look, we've managed to install a bridge in 36 hours. Well, if you can install a bridge in 36 hours, how come, what, a stretch of, what is it, 14 miles, if that, can take this long? It's just, I don't know, there seems to be a ratio of workmen that if you do happen to see some high-vis jackers when you go past on the motorway, it's almost like one can work at a time. There's usually five standing around and one in a digger. Now, I'm guessing that's health and safety, that they've got to spot the digger, a bit like, you know, forklifts work, you know, you have a guy spotting it for it, but... Yeah, it just seems to be that at, at any one time, only 17% of the workforce can actually be doing something. The rest of them are basically standing around with their arms folded, pointing. Now, either I've driven past them every single time and they happen to be on a break, which means the probability of that is actually amazing is you know is, is somehow more likely that i've driven past them on a break than it is hitting a royal flush twice in two hands of poker or they're doing all and in my well certainly every job that i've had if i sit there doing all you get reprimanded for it it's just it's a big big frustration as a commuter in this area um and i just don't really see the wisdom behind it personally speaking but it'd be It'd be nice if they kind of got a wig along because they don't, you know, it's just, it's, it's almost like they only seem to work between the hours of 11 and 3. You know, you know, that's more like a part-time mum. You know, it's just, it's insane, quite frankly. I mean, I mean, I mean, I appreciate, you know, the close of junctions at night, which is kind of annoying when you're trying to use it and there's no prior warning and you end up hitting it and you're not getting diverted off up the M3 and then you end up finding alternative way home fine so be that as it may but if it seems to be for a for the greater good then so be it it's just I don't see any progress so anyway that is kind of my rant uh, it's been brewing since they first started coning stuff off it's like there was you know they were so quick to cone it off but then so slow to start any kind of progress whatsoever and that that seems to be a perpetual thing at the moment that um they're just not getting on with it i mean i don't i don't know if that's my perspective but my view seems to be shared by a lot of people who basically are writing bile on their website and it's just getting completely ignored and nothing can say to me more that 
they really don't care. So that is the status quo. It's not ideal, but it's flipping annoying. But as always, if you come this far, if you like what I'm doing, please uh, subscribe or uh, comment below. Um, I'm probably going to get called an idiot now. I'm probably going to get a load of um, health and safety um, folk telling me how wonderful a smart motorway is. Fine, that is your opinion. This is mine. Thanks for listening. Peace out.